Hello, Portage County Democrats. This is Ben Wickler. Um, I am so sorry that I'm not there with you tonight, and I really appreciate the chance to join you by video. Uh, we have a family health emergency, and I'm actually on my way right now to the airport so that I can be with my family at what could be a, um, a really important moment. Um, so I, I hope that you'll understand. Um, and I also want you to know that I'm not driving. Uh, my campaign manager, Austin, is driving. Hello. So uh, I'm not in danger of making this video. Um, I am running for the chair of the Democratic Party on a ticket with two amazing women, Felicia Martin and Lee Snodgrass, um, whom I'll tell you about in a moment, because the three of us believe in organizing. We believe that Democrats win that we grow stronger, that we fight for our beliefs when we show up. Um, right now that means showing up for my family. Uh, in, in politics, it means showing up everywhere around the state. Uh, I myself started in progressive politics when I was a kid. My mom's best friend uh, is an amazing woman and my godmother, uh, a social worker and leader by the name of Ada Deer. Um, you might know Ada. Um, you'll know that she ran for Congress when I was 11 years old, and the first campaign I volunteered on was hers. I stuffed envelopes, uh, put up yard signs, and then cheered her on. She used to lead the Menominee Nation. Um, when she won her primary, her victory speech was, Me Nominee. Uh, I kind of got hooked. Uh, with that campaign, uh, I've never done much of anything else but, but fight for progressive values. And for the last four and a half years, I've been on the national leadership team of MoveOn.org, uh, the grassroots progressive group. And at MoveOn, I led uh, the national campaign against the repeal of the Affordable Care Act and the gutting of Medicaid, a fight that we weren't supposed to win and would have lost if it wasn't for millions of people who stood and fought. After that battle, healthcare became the central issue in 2018. And in Governor Evers and in Tammy Baldwin's race and in races across the country, we were able to prevail in part because the public had seen us fight and they knew what side Democrats were on and which side Republicans were on. Uh, that is part of what led me to decide to run. And I'm running with Felicia Martin because she too is an organizer and a fighter. She was such an effective organizer for President Obama in 2008 that the president asked her to be his state co-chair for his re-election in 2012 along with Russ Feingold. She's a 40-year resident of Sherman Park in Milwaukee She's organized 22 neighborhood teams, co-founded Organizing for America and Organizing for Action, and just was elected last fall to the Milwaukee County Board in a landslide. If you think organizing in Milwaukee is important to Democratic victories, you want Felicia Martin on your team. And Lee Snodgrass, who's a 24-year resident of Appleton, she's the chair of the Outagamie County Democrats. She ran last year as a first-time single mom candidate, uh, LGBTQ candidate, for the state Senate. And in a heavily gerrymandered district, she won 46.6% .6 of the vote. She's a great fighter. She does communications work for the Girl Scouts, so she knows about female empowerment, and I'm proud to have her on our ticket running for second vice chair. The three of us are running on a platform that spells out the word FIRE. F is for fight on issues between elections. The way we fought on healthcare in 2017, right now we need to fight to expand Medicaid in this state. We need to fight for public education funds, for clean water, things that almost everyone in Wisconsin agrees on, but Republicans want to rip out of the budget. So F is for fight. I, R is for include and respect. Include and respect people from every community around the state. That means rural Wisconsin, suburban Wisconsin, cities, communities of color. Everyone needs to be heard and we need to invest in supporting the talent pipeline in every part of Wisconsin. And E is for empower, empowering grassroots activists and county parties with better technology, with better data, and with training about how to use them. I am tired of calling people who died five years ago. I think we can clean up our data, we can use text messages, we can use social media more effectively. And I know that we can do all these things, fight, include, respect, and empower, because I've been part of doing them at moveon.org. I move on. I've helped to raise millions of dollars from small donors and from large donors to invest in grassroots activism. I've helped to push the cutting edge of how people organize, and I want to bring that technology, I want to bring that fundraising to the state party here in Wisconsin because the stakes could not possibly be higher. We all know that the entire world will be looking at what we do in Wisconsin in 2020 in the presidential election and with the national convention. I want to get the whole world focused on supporting us in the spring election in 2020, when it's not only the same day as the presidential primary, but we've got another Supreme Court justice on the ballot and 
the chance to win local offices all across the state by upgrading how we organize and using the high turnout from the presidential primary to help elect people to county boards and school boards all across Wisconsin. And all the work we do in 2020 has to be done with 2022 in mind because once we've got fair maps, we have a fighting chance to take back the state legislature, the state senate, the state assembly, all five constitutional offices will be up for re-election in 2022, and there's a U.S. Senate race where Scott Walker wants to win, and all the races for Congress. So we've gotta be building with a long-term plan that builds our party so not only can we stop Trump in this state in 2020, but that leaves us stronger on the other end instead of exhausted. That's the kind of plan that's the kind of battle that I want to join you in building. And I'd be so grateful if you'd support me and Felicia and Lee at the state convention this June 1st to 2nd in Milwaukee. And then if we win, or regardless of whether we win, let's join together in partnership to fight for Wisconsin that everyone can be proud of. Uh, I uh, live in Madison in the house where I grew up. I have three children, one, four, and seven. And I want them to know Wisconsin as a blue state, not as this mess that Scott Walker and his elk have created. So I'd like to work with you. I appreciate your hearing me out on video, and I look forward to seeing you in person at the State Convention of Milwaukee. Thanks so much.